Hi Aquarius. Thanks for tuning in to Toy Tarot. This is going to be your November read from the 1st through the 15th, 2021. Know that this is not only for sun sign Aquariuses, but also for Aquarius placements, somebody who has Aquarius traits or possibly just knows an Aquarius. All right. So with that being said, know that this won't be for every Aquarius out there, just for who it's meant for. So you take what resonates and you leave the rest. All right. So with that being said, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you so much. And let's go ahead and begin. All right. <laughs> So, Aquarius, it seems for the month of November, it's a desire that you have that is within reach, okay? Now, looking into it intuitively, it's something that you're leaving behind. Maybe something that didn't work out for you with the Six of Swords, okay? And it makes me feel like something is at pause, too, because it's upside down. Now, you received the temperance card, okay, which talks about patience, okay, recreating something, okay, that, again, possibly didn't work out in the past, okay? Now, with the Queen of Cups upright, it lets me know, like, if you actually do this and you do it with patience, okay, and you take your time with this, okay, things are going to end up successful for you. You're going to end up making the magic potion, the, the magical thing that you're trying to create. You're going to be successful with this project in general, whatever that may be for you, Aquarius, okay? Something that's very dear to your heart. Something you're very passionate about, okay? So, Aquarius, you received number 16, which is the patience card. So, again, this is confirmation that God, the universe, the creator, your guardian angels want you to know that with this, you must have patience, okay? In November, okay? You also received number 8, indecision. Okay, both of them came upright. So it lets me know that this has to do with some steps. Okay, six plus one is seven, then you have the eight. So before you move on to the next step, okay, you're being asked to like reevaluate some things, see what worked for you and what didn't work for you, okay? And take what worked and, you know, add to that, okay? But take time to actually look at this, think about it, okay, before making a decision, okay? Aquarius, you received the waxing crescent moon, you received Mars, and you also received Saturn at the bottom of the deck, okay? So, Saturn talks about work, okay? For some, for the month of November, you're going through a major test, okay? During this time, you might feel like, you know, no matter what you do with creating this thing, Aquarius, you know, this thing dear to you, whatever that may be for you, okay? It's as if you can't get ahead, okay? It feels like that. But know that God is saying that you are moving forward, okay? Your angels are saying you are moving forward, okay? Remember, 888 is important for you, okay? Now, with the Saturn, it talks about a major event, okay? For some Aquariuses, okay? And why this happens is to make sure that you're certain of what you are trying to create, okay? S to make sure that you're certain of your direction. But remember, you received the indecision card. So, you know, it's you're at standstill right now, okay? You're being asked to look over some things regarding this, okay? Again, to make sure, okay? And let go of anything that you might find during this process that holds you back. All right, so you're going to be given some Mars energy, okay? Now, what this Mars energy does is gives a, a boost of energy, okay, to finish what you have already begun, okay? And it also causes you to be more confident in this, you know, take leadership and making sure that, you know, it's the right product, okay? Okay. You know, um, kind of like going through like trial and error, okay? 
in order to like win in the end okay now you could be feeling you know aggressive at this time possibly too okay but what you can do with that is just use that aggress aggression okay towards this um this project or thing that is very dear to you okay all right so aquarius again with the waxing crescent moon this talks about just taking the initiative okay to like um strengthen what you already have been you know creating okay and know that once you do, once you do this things are going to come out like even more better than it possibly is already okay for some Aquariuses, you could also have a Mars placement of Aries, okay? Or you could just have Aries in your chart, okay? Now, you could also have Saturn in your chart. You could know um, a Capricorn or an Aries, okay? Dealing with this specific situation for you, Aquarius, for the month of November. Aquarius, you received the Thunderbolt card, okay? This is number 16. So this just lets me know that you're going to get, um, something's going to happen like spiritually for you, okay? It's like a, a spiritual shock from, you know, God, the creator above, okay? To help you during this process to kind of knock out again what didn't work for you and just to recreate something, to add on, you know, after you stop and pause and reevaluate, you know, um, what it is that will make it even better than what it already is, okay? And you'll feel it, you'll know, okay? So Aquarius, you received the Ten of Wands. Again, you're going to receive this um, this energy from, from the Mars. Okay, you're going to receive this Mars energy is what I'm trying to say, okay? And this is after an end to something happens. Something that, again, that you are passionate about, okay? And it's going to leave you in good health and leave you in like, leave, leave the outcome it's going to like, the outcome is going to um, be left in beauty or it's going to be beautiful, you know, in the end of it, okay, is what I'm trying to say, okay? Even though it might feel like things are not working out right now, okay? It's going to end beautifully, okay? So then you receive the Six of Wands. Now, what the Six of Swords talks about, okay, it talks about loss. There was some kind of loss in the past, you know, something didn't happen as you thought it was going to happen, okay? Okay? And the finances, the money didn't come in like you thought it was going to come in, okay? But again, if you pause at this time, use this in it, the energy that you're getting, you know, to make what you have, what you're passionate about better, Aquarius, okay? The money is going to come in. God wants you to know that that money is going to come in. Spirit, your angels, the universe, the creator wants you to know that, you know, things are going to end up successful for you, okay? Riches is going to come in. Money is going to come in for you, Okay? Aquarius, for self-care, you receive number 8, number 44, and number 19. Number 8 is the chanting card. So just stay positive about the situation. Believe in yourself. Be confident about what you're creating. Number 44, it's something that you, again, um, have pleasure in doing, okay? It's going to be a pleasurable moment even at the end, okay? So it's something that you enjoy doing, okay? And then when we talk about deep breathing for number 19, okay, just take a break to pause to like invite some more creativity in to, you know, this greatness that you've already made to make it even more greater. Okay. Aquarius, you received, actually, I need to fix this. Okay. So this actually was upright. So, um, you received the Knight of Wands. Okay. You received the Eight of Pentacles. Okay. Which is actually upright. I'm going to fix that too. Give me just a moment. Okay. Yeah. So I had to put all them in the right direction. Sorry about that. So you received the Knight of Wands. Okay. You also received the Eight of Pentacles. Okay. That was upright. And you received the Ten of Swords. Okay. Downward. And you received the Eight of Cups. Okay. So with the Knight of Wands, it just talks about, you know, taking the action with something that you're passionate about. Hey something that you're passionate about okay and basically know that this is going to be your strength okay Aquarius 
This talks about inspired and inspiring. Gather courage to provide, okay? To provide to others without boasting, okay? Now, with the Eight of Pentacles, okay? Again, this is like going over something that you're trying to create that you're passionate about again, okay? Now, possibly you went out in the past and where you went, it probably didn't, you know, bring in anything for you, okay? So, with this profession that you have or this study, you know, you're going to, you know, go through this phase of like um, trial and error, okay? Um, just acknowledging that your skills are improving and what you're creating, okay? And having the willingness to, you know, fail, okay? Because what that does, it lets you know that it's going to lead to you mastering the the project that you're working on. Okay, Aquarius? Now, with the Ten of Swords, it talks about, you know, again, taking a pause, okay? Being patient, you know, going over this, you know, even praying to God about the situation, okay? Um, it talks about, like, refreshing your mind, okay? And change is the word for you, okay? Aquarius, change is a teachable word, okay? At this time for November, okay? Now, when you hear the word change, God, your angels, you know, want you to know that maybe you should change the places you usually go, okay? Are people you always associate with, okay? Be patient. I cannot stress that enough. Be patient with this Aquarius, okay? And and go into careful reflection, okay? And doing that, it will help you overcome, okay? Overcome and strengthen you with something that you feel, um, something that you fear, okay? And um, it helps, like, rid of, like, lifeless habits, okay? Now, with the Eight of Cups for you, Aquarius, it talks about how your greatness is going to be measured by your strength, okay? Walking away from what didn't serve you in the past, okay? Everything we have is temporary, including material resources, okay? So don't cling to it. Don't cling to them, okay? Going into this solitude moment will make you wiser, okay? I want to say don't give up on yourself, you know? Don't be down on yourself, okay? Aquarius, this is temporary, okay? Okay? That's confirmation again. This situation you're going through in November is temporary, okay? And God wants you to know, the universe, your angels want you to know, that doing something risk, it's it. Okay, so basically you receive the tiger card, okay? Now, this is like a decision. Remember when you receive the indecision card, okay? Now, this is deciding to attack or play, like, you know, the tiger, Okay? Now, it talks about risk, okay, and taking a chance, okay? I feel like you are being asked not to take a chance because if you do, it's going to be risky at this time, okay? Now, you receive the caterpillar as well, okay? And with the caterpillar, it says things will not always be this way, and it talks about a change is coming. Again, this is a temporary situation for you, Aquarius. You receive the boat card. It talks about money and property, okay, through inheritance, okay, a winning windfall. Bless you. So this is saying that money is going to come in this time for you if you do um, do this, you know, um, if you're patient. If you're patient with yourself and review and, um, you know, just better, better what you are, I guess, like, what am I trying to say here? Okay. If you improve what you already have, okay? Just reevaluate, pause, be patient, and then, you know, go through a trial and error type thing with this thing you're passionate about, okay? And know that once you do that, money is going to come in, okay, with the boat card. Now, this is either dealing with a younger man, okay? Or, you know... You could be the younger man, Aquarius. With the I, Aquarius, you're being asked to trust your intuition. You're funny. You're being asked to trust your intuition, okay? 
God wants you to know this is great worry over nothing, okay? Again, this is temporary for you, Aquarius, for the month of November. Aquarius, you received the bridge card, which talks about successfully overcoming the problem, okay? You're going to get through this if you take time to be patient and, you know, just reevaluate some things and improve it, okay? Over something that ended with the casket card, okay? Know that once you do that, okay, God, the universe, your angels, is going to send you some spiritual love, okay, with the lily card, okay? It's going to be deep affection with the heart card, okay? With the jug, it's going to be a carefree time for you, okay? This money coming in for you, okay, for all the hard work you put in, Aquarius. And, again, you're being asked with the claw, be careful, and do not take risks. All right. Sorry that I'm moving around so much. I am holding my beautiful baby. So with that being said, I did get the message out to you though. So I hope this helps. Um, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you so much. This is your read for November 2021. First through 15. Thanks Aquarius. <laughs>